How many fans tip menu? Yes or no? Hey, I'm Bjorn Olsen from yourofempire.com. I'm the only fans empire and only fans management agency managing girls in the top 1% from all over the world, completely remotely. No office. Hence the different hotel rooms and all my different videos. Check us out at yourofempire.com or at yourofempire on all major social media platforms. But for now, let's get back to the video. Well, first we'll go over the reasons why people will use it. And then I'll go over the reasons why it could be a hindrance. And then you can make your own mind up. So first, why would people have a tip menu? Why? Could be stating the obvious here, but I want to start off with the basics before I go over my personal opinion and then how it could also be a hindrance to your OnlyFans account. So first of all, why? Well, it's obviously easy to sell content if you have a menu with prices and the different types of content available, isn't it? You know, you go through a menu at a restaurant or something, you know all the different things you can buy, so therefore you're probably going to buy it because you don't need to ask what they have available. Makes sense. Then, guys know what to pay and what's expected. Well, guys, you know, subs. Guys know what's available. Guys know what's available. And all the pros to it, don't they? Don't all the pros do it? Well, that's not a good enough reason because in reality, this is the way I see it. So these are the reasons why. In reality, this is the way I see it. A tip menu, actually it restricts your content to specific pricing. So it restricts your content to, it's going to say Pacific specific pricing. Now, why is this bad? Because when your subs come in, they're going to be coming from a range of different financial situations. You know, like some are going to be rich, some are going to be poor, some are going to be willing to spend money more, 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 poor, more willy nilly, and some are going to be a lot more tight with their money. So in my opinion, you need the ability to adjust pricing for the same content, but adjust the pricing depending on the sub that's purchasing because it's worth whatever it is worth to the person purchasing it. So therefore there is no set price for what it's worth. Like, can you really put a price on your body? Can you put a price on your naked body, on your vulnerable body? Can you put a price on that? Really? Really? Five bucks? Ten bucks? In a menu? Really? Really? So. For example, if you have a sub come in that's a whale, he likes splashing money around, he makes no secret of it, he brags about it, he might send you photos, oh look at me, I'm really cool, you know, I got the bling, I got this and that. Well, you want to be able to sell a picture to him for like 50 bucks. But then, if someone comes in and they subscribe, and you know, you can tell or they haven't exactly gone out of their way to make it known that they have a lot of money, 15 bucks. Now, if this pricing sounds strange to you, then you obviously haven't seen my other videos because I only aim for high ticket pricing. $3, $5, $7 pictures or videos just, it really makes me cry. It brings a tear to a glass eye. So anyway, that's enough on that. So yeah, you want to be able to sell the same piece of content, the same image or the same video for one price to a poor sub and another separate higher price to a richer sub. If you have a menu that locks in pricing, then you can't suddenly add on a rich man's tax on top of it because he'll go, hang on, it's said in your menu that the picture was this price. How come you're selling it to me for this? So then you can't adjust. You can't adjust based on that. Now, secondly, it's all proportionate to the sub anyway. So pricing, proportionate, is that the right word really? Pricing is all relative I knew there was a yeah pricing is all rela <laughs> sorry it's late I'm pretty tired pricing is all rela what the rela relevant relevant so I'm having a real mental like blank right now um, pricing is all relevant to subs financials anyway so 50 bucks to one person might not seem as much as it does to another person. 50 bucks to someone might seem, oh my God, no way, that's, you're out of your mind. 50 bucks to another person might be, no worries, no biggie. You know what I mean? So 
when you have a tip menu, the pricing is all relevant to subs financials anyway. So therefore you need the ability to be able to adjust to the different subs. Now, the other thing is, in my opinion, this is from my experience, what I've noticed is that it is harder to convert subs when an account looks too commercial because well, in my experience and from what I've noticed, I'm not saying that, you know, this is, is the way, you know, this is the way, Mandalorian, I'm not saying this is the way, but I'm saying what I have noticed is that subs tend to resonate more with a girl who seems obtainable. They tend to resonate more with a girl who seems like the girl next door. And this is just the sneak peek at behind the scenes, behind the, you know, behind the curtain. If it's all commercialized with like menus and watermarks on your photos and that, it removes you from that. It becomes a client customer relationship. It becomes like a shop, it becomes commercial. And therefore, in my opinion, I think it's harder to convert subs. I've definitely noticed that. There's no doubt I've noticed that with the models that I manage. It is harder to convert subs when a bio and a welcome message and a pin post look too commercial. It has, you know, I've even gone to the point, I've only just made this adjustment lately. I've actually gone on the extent where I've deliberately started putting spelling mistakes in bios and in like pin posts on models accounts, on their OnlyFans accounts, because it looks more authentic. It looks more real, it looks more vulnerable. Um, when I used to do like the wicked, you know, looking bios of all these emojis and it looks, you know, using like copywriting skills, I noticed that conversion rates were a lot, a lot lower. So this just, really, you know, adds the whole commercial aspect. And so I totally disagree with that. So because it looks professional, looks pro, hard to resonate with. Hard to resonate with. So when you might be out here thinking your account looks really professional, how cool is that? Another sub might be going, wow, that's looks like a business and I don't want to be another number. I don't want to be another customer. I want to feel like I can actually talk to this girl like I have a chance, like she's obtainable. And so the appeal for most guys is gone because the appeal for most guys is getting behind the scenes on a seemingly real girl. So adding a tip menu, to sum it up, adding a tip menu actually, in my opinion, is more of a hindrance to an OnlyFans account. There may or probably will be some other people who disagree with me, but this is my experience. And I'm quite confident that I'm making some valid points here because it is hard to resonate with a girl who seems like she's hidden behind menus and watermarked airbrushed images as opposed to a bio and a pin post with a couple of spelling mistakes and some amateur looking selfies with poor lighting. You know, not too poor lighting because then that can't sell either. But you know what I mean? So it's like you are removing the possibility in the sub's mind that they might be able to get this girl. They might actually, you know, she could be the one. She could fall for me. There's a chance you're removing that. And adding a tip menu only just kills that because now all of a sudden it looks like a shop and it's not meant to be a shop. It's meant to be a place where a sub can go and talk to a girl, have a good time. And then when they get carried out, one thing leads to another, then you hope that they'll start purchasing with emotion and you can start selling them content according to the storyline, the fictional sexual storyline that you have been talking about with the sub. Does that even make sense? Anyway, so point is, no tip menu. Don't do it. So if you think this video has merit or it brought you some value and you like it, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you on another video.